What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know about Apex season 14 and all of the changes that we're getting, and there's a lot of them. Kings Canyon is making its return, but it's coming back better than ever. With Kings Canyon, we're getting one of the community's favorite POIs, Skulltown, but Skulltown has been overhauled and changed. If you played Kings Canyon, you probably recognize this POI, which has now been completely overhauled and changed to a new version of Skulltown called Relic. Fingers crossed that they haven't destroyed our favorite POI. I'm really excited for this next one, guys. If you've ever played Kings Canyon, you know how frustrating it can be to try and advance your position on a team who's held up in cage, especially if they're playing legends like Watson or Caustic. This new update is gonna completely change cage and open it up. I'm convinced the devs have a good sense of humor because they've taken one of the most deadly spots on the entire map and they've opened it up even more. This is located on the hillside near containment You've probably been here before you've probably been team wiped here before and you've probably been third fourth and fifth partied here before my advice would be to avoid this poi at all costs one of the biggest complaints about king's canyon is the inability to have isolated fights there's so many ways to get from one part of the map to the other allowing teams to third fourth and fifth party easily a lot of the other changes to the map are changing you know which areas of the map are connected changing up some of the choke points the cave systems and i'm really excited to see where this goes that does it for all of the map changes for Kings Canyon. Next, I want to talk about changes that we're getting to our loot pools and our weapons. The Skull Piercer is back, guys, but this time it's not only going to be on the Wingman, it's also compatible with the 3030 Repeater. Speaking of the Wingman, the Wingman is no longer going to be using heavy ammo and it is instead going to be using sniper ammo now. The Spitfire is a light weapon. This next one is going to shake up the meta a lot. We're getting laser sights. Laser sights are going to be compatible with SMGs and pistols, and they're going to slightly increase the hip fire accuracy of those weapons. You're also going to be able to customize your laser sights and make them whatever color you want. The EVA 8 is making its return in season 14. Not only have they increased the fire rate of this weapon overall, but you can now equip a stock to it. In addition to this, you'll be able to find the double tap hop up on the ground usable with the EVA 8 and the G7. They removed self revive from the game. Gold knockdown shields will no longer give you the ability to revive yourself after being knocked down. I think this is going to create a lot healthier ranked environment, but we'll just have to play with it and see. Instead, the gold knockdown shield now has Guardian Angel. This is the perk that was on the gold backpack previously. It allows you to revive your teammates and give them 50 health and 50 shield once you pick them up. So you might be wondering, what does the gold bag do? Well, the gold bag has received a brand new perk called Deep Pockets. Deep Pockets is going to allow you to carry more big heals in each slot. You're going to be able to carry three med kits, three bats, or two phoenix kits. That does it for all of the loot changes. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is our brand new legend, Vantage. Vantage is looking pretty cool. We got to see a lot of her abilities in the gameplay trailer that Apex dropped. Her passive seems pretty good. She can ADS on an enemy to see how far away they are, what character they're playing, and what rarity shield that person and all of their teammates have, also letting you know how many teammates they have alive currently. Her tactical is a small bat named Echo, who she can send out and then she can activate it again to jump to Echo's location. Get it? Echo location? No? Okay. Her ultimate is marked to kill. She has a custom sniper rifle, which allows her to take shots on the enemy. If she hits you, her and her team will do an additional 15% damage to you for as long as you are marked to kill. When it comes to her ult, we have a lot of missing information here. We don't know how much damage the sniper does. We don't know how long the damage increase to the target lasts. How many shots does she get? Can she put her sniper away and pull it back out like Sheila? These are all questions that are going to determine whether or not Vantage is actually a good character to play or if she's just another letdown. Do you want a free season 14 battle pass? If so, be sure to come by my Twitch channel on Tuesday, August 9th. That's the day that the new season is dropping. I'm going to be giving away battle passes throughout the stream, and I would love to see you in there. Let me know you saw this video. That does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.